This video will make your reaction timer game using the Logo Basic module. This will be instructive as well as being a little bit of fun. On the way, we'll have a look at the random time delay. We'll have a look at the stopwatch function. We'll use an AND edge gate. We'll use an analog amplifier and we'll use the message display text with a few nice features shown in it. As with any project, defining the user requirements usually makes coding more straightforward and less error prone. So we want when input one is switched on to start a random delay of two to five seconds. After the delay, switch on Q1 and an indicator lamp and display go on the LCD and start the timer. When the input is switched off, display the user's reaction time and reset on the next cycle. We start with our skeleton program. Input one will be the switch, Q1 will be the indicator lamp, and we have a message display text and M25 to turn on the white backlight. From the special functions, we select the random timer. We want between two and five seconds, but we notice that we can't set an initial delay on this. So we set it for three, the difference between the minimum and maximum time, and we'll add in an on delay timer in front of that to delay the initial two seconds. So the two seconds plus the maximum of three from the random delay should give us a delay between two and five seconds. Run the simulation, switch on the input, and we can see the two second delay runs followed by the random delay, which gave us 0.68 seconds that time. Run it again, and we get a delay of 1.88 seconds this time. We'll configure our message display text. Note that this defaults to priority zero. So this is the lowest priority message and any subsequent message texts we add will have a higher priority number and be visible on top of this. See the message text function video for more details on this. We want the message display to be on all the time, so we'll set the enable input to be high by default by using an invert connector on it. We're going to use a little trick in the text message. We want to display a message to instruct the user when input one is switched on to get ready for the timer. There's an on off function which will display one of two texts based on the digital signal. In this case, we want nothing when input one is off and we want the prepare to switch off text message. So the strings are limited to eight characters, but we can use them multiple times, all triggered by input one. Switch on input one, and we have prepared to switch off, shows up on the logo liquid crystal display. To measure the elapsed time, we're going to use the stopwatch function. We'll give it a block name, and we'll set it to 10 millisecond increments. We're going to enable that as soon as the random delay is elapsed, it will start timing. And here we need to reset it when input one switches on again. This circuit wouldn't work for us, it will hold the reset on. So we're going to use an AND edge function, which will just give us a one shot when the input comes on, it will fire the reset just once for one scan of the PLC. We'll run the simulation. And we can see the stopwatch measures 229. We'll add in the stopwatch count value. and run the simulation again and we notice we have a reaction time of 1.47. Now we would like to display that as decimal seconds, 
But when we go into the stopwatch, we find that there is no feature to change the number of decimal places on the message display as there would be with most of the other timer functions. So we're going to have to resort to a little trick here. There are a couple of ways we could do this. We could use a maths instruction, but this time we're just going to use an analog amplifier and we'll leave its gain and offset at the default settings. So its gain is one, offset is zero, but we'll just use it to change the number of decimal places in the message text. Set it to two, which should give us the hundredths will give us 0 0.01 seconds. And we don't need it for the simulation, but to download to the logo, we'll get a fault if we don't terminate the analog string with the analog flag or analog marker. So now we can delete the stopwatch value and put in the decimal fix amplified insert that into our display. We can see already the decimal point has shown up in the time readout. And the reaction time is displayed in decimal seconds. Now we want to give the operator a prompt to tell them to switch off the button, the go prompt requested in the user requirements. Notice that the priority on this message display is one. Zero has already been used. The message text editor allows us to use uh, symbols such as degrees, ohms, etc. and also has some block symbols which we can use to make some big characters here. We'll use Control C, Control V to copy and paste. And we want a nice orange backlight on this to give them a warning. So we'll use the M28 backlight flag. We don't need to do this, uh, but since we have the inverter on the main display, we can wire this up so that when Q1 is off, the main display is on. When Q1 is on, the Go display is on. Run the simulation. Turn on the input, prepare to switch off messages displayed. The elapsed time gives us the go command and Q1 is turned on. And when we turn off the input, the reaction time is displayed. So 0.43 seconds. This isn't going to be very accurate in the simulation. It runs at quite a slow number of scans per second. We'll transfer the program to the logo, test the connection. That's okay. Switch on the input. You'll notice a small delay between the output LED turning on and the LCD. So really for a realistic or a fair chance for someone to measure their reaction time, they should be looking at a lamp rather than the LCD. So I hope you find that useful. Subscribe for more uh, projects, tips and tricks. Thank you. Mm -hmm.